Assalamu alaikum, my name is Nayab and today the topic of our discussion is sentence structure. Sentence structure means the way a sentence is arranged grammatically. For example, where the noun and the verb would fall in individual sentences. हमारे पास grammatical arrangement of sentence क्या होगी इसको हम sentence structure कहते हैं. Meaning कि हमारे पास sentence में, हमारे sentence में हम noun को, verb को, object को, इन सब चीजों को किस तरह से arrange करेंगे इसको sentence structure कहते हैं. There are four types of sentence structure. The first one is simple sentence structure. The second one is compound sentence structure. The third one is complex sentence structure. And the fourth one is compound complex sentence structure. Starting with the first one, simple sentence structure. A simple sentence consists of one independent clause. A clause is a collection or a group of words. It contains a subject and a verb, but it might or might not convey a complete thought. There are two types of clauses. एक independent clause होता है और एक dependent clause होता है an independent clause contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought but in a dependent clause a dependent clause have a subject and a verb but it does not convey a complete thought so a simple sentence simple sentence में हम कह सकते हैं कि it is an independent clause for example I like coffee Mary likes tea the earth goes round the sun Mary did not go to the party these are all examples of simple sentence. Is mein hamare paas ek noun hai, I, like is verb and coffee is an object. So you can see there is a single noun and a single predicate. Hamare paas sentence mein ek noun hai aur ek hi predicate hai ya ek hi verb hum keh sakte hai. Mary likes tea, it is the same as I like coffee. The earth goes round the sun. This is a simple sentence as well. And Mary did not go to the party. It is also a simple sentence. The second one is compound sentence structure. A compound sentence is two or more independent clauses joined by a conjunction or semicolon. Each of these clauses could form a sentence alone. Hamare paas compound sentence mein hum kehte hain ke two or more independent clauses hote hain. हम और या हम ऐसे भी कह सकते हैं कि two or more simple sentences होते हैं, but they are combined by a junction or a semicolon. For example, I like coffee and Mary likes tea. इसमें I like coffee ये भी हमारे पास एक simple sentence है and Mary likes tea ये भी हमारे पास एक single sentence है. Simple हमारे पास हम कहते हैं independent clause है, but it is combined by a conjunction and. एंड हमारे पास बीच में कंजंक्शन हो गया और जब इन दोनों को मिला लिया सो वी हैड अ कंपाउंड सेंटेंस इन द सेकंड एग्जांपल वी कैन सी मैरी वेंट टू वर्क बट जॉन वेंट टू द पार्टी सो यू कैन सी मैरी वेंट टू वर्क इट इज अ सिंपल सेंटेंस हमें समझ आती है कि मैरी वेंट टू वर्क इट एक्सप्रेसेस अ कंप्लीट थॉट एंड जॉन वेंट टू द पार्टी इट आल्सो एक्सप्रेसेस अ कंप्लीट थॉट एंड दीस बोथ सेंटेंसेस आर कंबाइंड बाय द वर्ड बट which is a conjunction and it made a compound sentence structure. The third one is our car broke down, we came last. We can say that you can combine two simple sentences with either a conjunction or a semicolon. Hum agar ya to beech mein conjunction lagayenge aur ya semicolon lagayenge. So either हम conjunction लगाएंगे या semicolon लगाएंगे, but not both at the same time. दोनों हम नहीं लगा सकते. या conjunction लगाएंगे या semicolon लगाएंगे to combine two simple sentence structure to form a compound sentence structure. Now there are seven coordinating conjunctions. हमारे पास seven coordinating conjunctions है and, but, or, nor, for, yet, and so. These are the seven coordinating conjunctions which are used to Join two simple sentence structures to form a compound sentence structure. Now there are some other examples. She completed her literature review and she created her reference list. He organized his sources by theme and he updated his reference list. They studied APA rules for many hours but they realized there was still much to learn.
As you can see how these coordinating conjunctions are used to combine two simple sentences to make a compound sentence structure. Now coming towards the third one, complex sentence structure. A complex sentence consists of an independent clause plus a dependent clause. हमारे पास सिंपल सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर में एक इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज होता है कंपाउंड सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर में हमारे पास दो या दो से ज़्यादा इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेज होते हैं कंपाइंड विद अ कंजंक्शन और अ सेमी कॉलन बट कम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर में हमारे पास एक इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज होता है प्लस हमारे पास डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज होता है नाउ अ डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज स्टार्ट विद अ सब ऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन और अ रेलेटिव प्रोनाउन and contains a subject and a verb but does not express a complete thought हमारे पास इससे complete thought express नहीं होता है डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज हमारे पास कम्प्लीट थाट एक्सप्रेस नहीं करता इट मस्ट बी कम्बाइंड विद एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज टू कन्वे अ कम्प्लीट थाट ना इफ़ अ सेंटेंस बिगिनस विद अ डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज नोट द कॉमा आफ्टर दिस क्लॉज इफ ऑन द अदर हैंड द सेंटेंस बिगिनस विद एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज देयर इज नो कॉमा सेपरेटिंग द टू क्लॉज अब हम कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस को दो तरह से अरेंज कर सकते हैं या तो स्टार्ट हमारे पास इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज से होगा या स्टार्ट में हमारे पास डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज होगा एंड फिर उसके बाद हमारे पास इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज आएगा तो अगर हमारे पास सेंटेंस के स्टार्ट में डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज है अगर सेंटेंस हमारे पास डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज से स्टार्ट होगा तो उसमें हमारे पास कॉमा आएगा क्लॉज के पास बट अगर हमारे पास सेंटेंस इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज से स्टार्ट होगा सो देयर वुड बी नो कॉमा बिटवीन द टू सेंटेंसेज Now let's see some examples. We missed our plane because we were late. As you can see, our sentence started with an independent clause. We missed our plane. It has a subject and a verb, and it conveys uh, and it conveys a complete thought. Because we were late, and the second one is because we were late. So because we were late. इट हैज़ ए सब्जेक्ट एन अवर बट इट डज नॉट कन्वे अ कम्प्लीट थाट हमारे पास ये स्टार्ट जो है तो हमारे पास सब ऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन से हुआ है दैट्स वाई इट इज़ एन इट इज़ अ डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज एंड देर इज नो कॉमा बिटवीन द टू क्लॉज और डॉग बाग्स वेन शी हेयर्स अ नॉइस हमारे पास इसका भी स्टार्ट हमारे पास इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज से हुआ है अवर डॉग बाग्स इट हैज़ ए सब्जेक्ट एन अवर एंड इट कन्वेज अ कम्प्लीट थाट When she hears a noise, when she hears a noise, you have a subject in this sentence, you have a verb in this sentence, but it does not convey a complete thought because it is started with a relative pronoun. The third one is although she completed her literature review, she still needed to work on her method section. अब इस sentence में हमारे पास start हमारे हमने dependent clause से लिया है although she completed her literature review. Although is a subordinating conjunction, so it is a dependent clause. So there would be a comma between the dependent and the independent clause. Here are some common subordinating conjunctions. These are the examples of uh, subordinating conjunctions that you might come across with. After although as because. Here are some common subordinating conjunctions that you might come across while reading complex sentence structures. After, although, as, because, before, how, if, once, since, then, that, though, till, until, when, where, whether, and while. And here are the five basic relative pronouns. Those are that, which, who, whom, and whose. Now coming towards the examples. So he left in a hurry after he got a phone call. He left in a hurry. It is an independent clause. After he got a phone call, it is a dependent clause as it is starting with a subordinating conjunction after. Do you know the man who is talking to Mary? Do you know the man? It is an independent clause. And who is talking to Mary is a dependent clause. Now the third one is because he organized his sources by theme. because he organized his sources as this sentence is starting with a subordinating conjunction because so it is a dependent clause it was easier for his readers to follow it is an independent clause as you can grab the full meaning of the sentence
in the first two sentences the sentence starts with an independent clause so there is no comma between the two clauses but in the last sentence the sentence started with it with a dependent clause so there would be comma between the dependent and independent clause now coming toward the fourth type compound complex sentence structure a compound complex sentence consists of at least two independent clauses it would have two or more independent clauses and one or more dependent clause for example john didn't come it is an independent clause because he was ill it is a dependent clause so mary was not happy mary was not happy is again an independent clause and so is a coordinating conjunction so there are two independent clauses in this sentence which are john didn't come and mary was not happy these two are independent clauses and there is because he was ill it is a dependent clause he left in a hurry after he got a phone call he left in a hurry it is an independent clause and after he got a phone call it is again a dependent clause but he came back 5 minutes later he came back 5 minutes later is again an independent clause and but is a coordinating conjunction she completed her literature review but she still needs to work on her methods section even though she finished her methods course last semester although he organized his sources by theme he decided to arrange them chronologically and he carefully followed the meal plan for organization with pizza and soda at hand they studied apa rules for many hours and they decided that writing in apa made sense because it was clear concise and objective these are some other examples of compound complex complex structures they all contain at least two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses in these sentences this is a table of the type of sentence structure so here in the first section we have types of sentence structure and there are then parts so the first one is simple there would be one independent clause there would be no dependent clause and there would sometimes be a use of conjunction for example i like candies and cupcakes so it is a simple sentence because it has one independent clause but there is a use of conjunction and in it but the word and is used just to combine the objects in the end for example i like candy and cupcakes so candy and cupcakes are just objects combined by a conjunction there aren't two sentences or two clauses in it The second one is compound sentence. So compound sentence would have two or more independent clauses. There would be no dependent clause and there would always be a use of conjunction. You can't say always be a use of conjunction if you are not combining the two sentences with a semicolon, but if you are combining it with a semicolon, you won't use a conjunction in it. Complex stru structure would have one or more independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. and there would usually be use of conjunction to combine the two the independent and the dependent clauses and in the last we have compound complex structure which would have at least two or more independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses and there would always be the use of conjunction in it it was all about the types of sentence structure and you can uh, you will have the types of mcqs in it you might be asked how many types of sentences are there or what you might be asked what simple sentence structure is or what a complex sentence structure is or what is a dependent clause what is an independent clause how are they combined how many methods are there to combine compound sentence structures or complex sentence structures this was all about the types of sentence structure See you in the next lecture inshallah Allah Hafiz